So Fallout 3 is sort of broken. This is kind of an odd or interesting one I stumbled upon while trying to mod Fallout 3 for myself for a different video, where I ran into two completely separate issues that I wanted to talk about and how Bethesda slash Microsoft actually plays a pretty big role here. So Fallout 3 has had a long history of problems. Obviously, it's a Bethesda game. All Bethesda games released with issues. But even further, just in general, the whole Games for Windows Live problem on PC has been a lingering one, leading to crashes, you having to actually download a mod or edit something Thing to get the game working. Fortunately, Bethesda slash Microsoft did the unthinkable a few months ago, where they actually updated Fallout 3 in 2021. This doing two things, removing the games for Windows Live requirement and actually updating the compiler. But what this meant was you could just download Fallout 3 off of Steam and play, no longer having to deal or get around the games for Windows Live issue. They removed it from the game, which is a good thing, right? What am I possibly complaining about now where things are broken? Well, naturally, as Bethesda updates their games, which we regularly talk about on this channel, things break. Notably with Fallout 3, the Fallout script extender broke. So now, as you do the typical install Fallout 3, install the script extender, it doesn't actually work anymore. As you try and launch the game with script extender and use the benefits it provides, which are pretty massive on a 10 year old game, you can't because the version is wrong. The script extender is not compatible with the most updated version of Fallout 3. And sadly, when you update a game for the first time in a decade, mod authors move on and things can't be quickly rectified. And even I, as someone who was aware of the situation and actually follows all of this pretty closely, I spent a good 20 minutes trying to figure out what I was doing wrong with Fallout Script Extender. I feel like it's just a habit for many of us Bethesda game players at this point. It's one of those core essential mods you download every time and I was confused as to what the problem was. Why couldn't I launch Fallout 3 anymore? Fortunately, modders came to the rescue almost immediately and now what you have to do is actually downgrade your Fallout 3 to get things working properly. It's a pretty simple tool, you just put it in your folder, run the program, and it's all nicely done. The Fallout Script Extender devs also updated their webpage saying that I do not have a time frame for when foes can be updated to this new version. So it's not really the end of the world, but is definitely an unfortunate situation where if you play Fallout 3 vanilla without any mods installed, things are nicer now because you don't have to deal with games for Windows Live. But if you do download mods, which the vast majority of people do, you actually have almost more steps to fix that than you did with actually fixing the games for Windows Live problem before. And this is a very persistent issue. You could find hundreds of discussions online or on Discord of people having this and trying to figure out what exactly went wrong here. Although, as I mentioned at the start of this, this is actually not the only problem I recently stumbled upon with Fallout 3. One of the great immediate effects of the Bethesda purchase by Microsoft is all of the Bethesda games went to Game Pass. This giving many people the opportunity to experience the older titles for the first time because they are already subscribed to Game Pass. So you could try out Fallout 3 if you've never had before, or even better, try it out on PC if you've only played the console version. But the Game Pass version of Fallout 3 has a pretty interesting feature in that it is nearly 50 gigabytes in size, which for a game from 2008, that's pretty massive. And if you even download Fallout 3 on Steam, it's only about seven gigabytes in size. So what is going on here? Initially, there is actually some spec speculation that there was some upgrades made to the game, like the textures are higher quality on the Game Pass version. But in reality, what happens is when you download Fallout 3 on Game Pass, this for the PC version of it, you don't actually just download one Fallout 3. Instead, you are downloading the full game in English, French, German, Italian, and Spanish. So this really only ups the replayability of Fallout 3 even more, giving you the opportunity to experience the game not only in English, but also, let's say you want that Italian translation, a bit of a different experience in this world. Now joking aside, this is a pretty obnoxious feature of the Game Pass version. It literally quintuples the size because you're downloading five copies of this game. So obviously something that hopefully will get fixed in the future by Microsoft or Bethesda or anybody really, it is pretty obnoxious to have five copies of the game taking up a decent chunk of hard drive space. Still nothing compared to Call of Duty, but hey, 50 gigabytes is no joke. So overall, a bit of a simpler video, but recently I've been modding Fallout 3. I wasn't even aware these two things were issues, but apparently they are fairly big issues and a lot of people have been talking about them and exploring them. So I wanted to make a bit of an update video on the game discussing these and hopefully raise some awareness so either these things get fixed in the future or just so you know when you try and download and mod Fallout 3 and you cannot for the life of you figure out what you're doing wrong. With that said, as always again I thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed this one, and I hope to see you all next time. Later.